Welcome to Kingston. Welcome to Jamaica. Welcome to Kingston. The land yeah. of food and water. If a girl live in Lamar Bay, you will stay. Take a trip and come check out Kingston. Let's go. Me talk about this today. I'm going to talk about it again. He said, Daddy, don't touch me, dear. Too honorable, Queen of Africa, VP Records. None of them will contribute to that song. Yeah. All Queen of Africa don't come at the studio. Welcome to Kingston. Kingston. Welcome to Kingston. I'm meeting an accident, a drummy, a meeting accident at the time. And a good friend of mine around Queen of Africa them and Tony Rebel and put the, put the phone on speaker and said listen don't say nothing you know me and Queen of Africa and Tony Rebel said yo Tony Rebel and Queen of Africa said the boy should have crashed and broke him neck me you know where just gear the song of life where boss are where boss are the song are rip up the whole world Welcome to Live Foot TV at the right place. So let's go, don't go nowhere. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. Kingston was the attest event. Up on Monday, Pussy Tuesday, boom, boom, I represent. Bless hello and greetings, my viewers and subscribers, kings and queens, line and line. It's big up on yourself. Welcome to Lion for TV. I say give thanks to life, health, and strength. And I hope this visual finds you all in the best of health. Thank you all for your continuous support. Yes, man, coming up in this vlog, we have Billboard Selector, Kemar McGregor. I share his story and the chemistry that he had with um, Queen Africa relating to the song Daddy Don't Touch Me There. Then we get Billboard and him say, him get Queen Africa the big song and then they get no thanks. At one point, somebody put them on speaker and him listen to them and say, yo, him should have broke his neck when him crashed and have the accident. He also stated that they had nothing to do with the song Daddy Don't Touch Me There. Them come to the studio, they came to the studio and he put it to them, said, Yo, more you sing this and I said, sound like I him write it. You know, but um and Tony Rebel said no because people might think say our father she attack. No, I don't know if Queen Africa did open to Kemar about what happened to her and her father, allegedly, or it is was just a coincidence that Kemar wrote this song and put it to them. See, but anyway, the song big, the song tear down the world, you see me? Big up yourself, Queen Africa. I know Lion for respect and love. You see? Yeah, man. But if you want to subscribe, I'm going to hear you. I'm going to hear you. I want to let me know what you think in the comment section. But do remember, this vlog is sponsored by Ninja Man, Dan Gargan, and Cameron McGregor. Yes, man. Check out the song, One Dan Gargan. If you want a thousand US for win, enter the competition. Get the One Dan Gargan song, create your routine, then tag your videos to Ninja Man's official Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Ninja Man official. The best routine wins 1,000 US dollars. The competition opens on Monday, September 11th, 2023 and closes October 10th, 2023. The winner of the $1,000 US prize will be announced on October 26th, 2023. The One Dan Gargan Dance off. All right. Sorry, them enough enough. So take me some time. All this now, Queen Africa. This is a Queen Africa album. Man, Tiger Bear. All right. So, me talk about this today. I'm going to talk about it again. He said, Daddy, don't touch me there. Too honorable, Queen of Africa, VP Records. None of them will contribute to that song. Yeah. All Queen of Africa don't come at the studio. Right? And when I mean contribute, I mean contribute to the marketing and promotion, etc. So you are. He said, Daddy, you see when I sang there, make? In the studio, and me, I tell Tony Rebel, say, Yo, here what? Me say, Here what? Mo and Queen Africa sing the song. Daddy, don't touch me there. I'm gonna tell a new one day as well. No one will understand, Daddy, don't touch me there. I'm gonna tell a new one day, I swear. 
to one person, no, you can't make you sing a song so because people are gonna feel like their father shall talk. No one understand, daddy, don't touch me, dear. I'm gonna tell on you one day, I swear. I'm gonna say, who that? You say, her father is a big, a big scale legend. I'm gonna say, eh. So, he said something like, I mean, I think it's Derek Morgan or something he said. He said, the, the, the man is a big scale. Because I said to you, it's not everybody who know. He said, I'm a very young, young producer, but very talented. You understand me? So, me never know who him saw. So, I'm saying, yeah, man, her father name. Derek Morgan, away my name. He's a big, a big, a big ski artist. So if he makes you sing the song, Daddy, don't touch me there. People are starting to So I say, all right. No one understand, Daddy, don't touch me there. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shoot a video for the song, and make sure Queen Africa does perform the song, and then I'm gonna get actors that's gonna play the role, fathers and daughter. So, so the world and Jamaica can see that. These are the things that happen in the home, and Queen Africa are just bringing awareness of awareness of it, and that that is something that was important to me too. Because guess what, I get to get to me come from, and me see politician, me see politician coming at the ghetto, and there with little Pitney, twelve year old Pitney, and whatever. Me see that in Jamaica, and guess what? enough people can relate to that. The politician them love little Pitney, the bad man them love little Pitney, the police them want to protect them, there with them too. The soldier them when them come in the community. If you protect the people, them, them deal with the people and look up at them too. So we see that, you understand me? So it means a lot to it. You understand me? So anyway, I'm going to shoot the video. I mean finance everything. Me pay for the video shoot. Every, every fucking thing. I mean do that. And Queen of Freak and I contribute to it. Two honorable dirty VP records. None of them. You ever said dirty stinking VP record? None of them no contribute to that. I mean, I beat my chest. Dirty stinking VP record and teeth in Christian. None of them no contribute to that. Because them people, they're my germs to me. I'm mean, not nah, stop. I'm mean, not nah, stop. They're my germs. When we speak, we speak with that charity. VP records are germs. Them China people, they're wicked. They have our best interests. So they're my germs. Stink and nasty. They're my vomit. They're my ticks. They're my chink. They're my pestilent. They're my plague. They're my everything that is wrong and evil. Then I contribute to that. You understand what I say? Queen Africa never, t never one day say thank you or ever say I. Never. I mean, I fucking need that from her. I mean, I'm hungry. As only can see. But a producer can do so much for an artist and she never one day say thanks. You know what? I meet in an accident at Jimmy, I meet in an accident at the time. And a good friend of mine. Around, around Queen of Africa them and Tony Rebel. And put the, put the phone on speaker and said, listen, don't say nothing. You know me and Queen of Africa and Tony Rebel said, yo. Tony Rebel and Queen of Africa said the boy should have crashed and broke him neck. Me, you know, where just gear the song of life. We bust our, we a bust our, the song rip up the whole world. I'm a meeting an accident, and instead of the people them call me, ask me, I read them say, yo, I should have crashed and dead. Wicked blood clad people them, evil. Them evil and fuck. Me not beg them nothing. Me not beg them nothing. Me not need to record them. Them not sell. Them not important. They were important once upon a time when we produced them. Because we give them massive it. Massive it we give them. Me not sitting in the blood clad people. Eh? Me not want to produce them. When those people in them prime, are we involved in them career? I produce the hits them for them. Since we start producing them, they get the hits. Then they get the hits song. When last one here, Richie Spice sing a hit song. Richie, Richie Spice last massive hit song. They play in land. Yes, they playing land. I want to know, man, if I put respect. And if I put respect. And now, it's up to only, you know, but when I need to know this, I'm the only producer in reggae. Not even an artist get that. If I have a chop, a feather to pull up on my yard with a truckload of plaque. 
No. No producer, no. Artists never get this in a reggae. And all them do a tarnish my name. So, tonight and the night for burn all of them. And running away. Because of germs and poison. I don't need you. You don't need me more than me need you. That's my thing there. Oh, okay, my viewers and subscribers, that's the end of the vlog. Let me know what y'all think. Yeah, man, the camera I'm going to be good myself. I can't say upset that because so much blocks. You have done a lot of work, man. You, you produce some big songs. But I don't know why camera and artist think I agree. Clearly, camera said them are the problem, you know? Uh, maybe because he's doing, he's conducting the business properly. You know what I mean? So, they might feel like he might wrap them up, but... Really and truly, it sounds like he might do the business properly because he knows the business and he produces song, he pay them to record the song. That means that he's the solely owner. And if he help them write the song, that means he has a part in the song. Writing, them just have to come to an agreement with a 60 40, 50 50, or 70 30 to make up that 100%. You see me? Yes, I understand a little about the business, but. Yeah, let me know what you think, my viewers and subscribers. I like and put in a big up on yourself. Don't forget to like and share the content, subscribe and click the bell. Yes, my remember, gratitude is a must. Bless.